The Secretary of Defense SECDEF is the leader and chief executive officer of the United States Department of Defense, the executive department of the Armed Forces of the United States. The Secretary of Defense's position of command and authority over the United States military is second only to that of the President and Congress, respectively. This position corresponds to what is generally known as a defense minister in many other countries. The Secretary of Defense is appointed by the President with the advice and consent of the Senate, and is by custom a member of the Cabinet and by law a member of the National Security Council. Secretary of Defense is a statutory office, and the general provision in 10 U.S.C. § 113 provides that the Secretary of Defense has "...authority, direction and control over the Department of Defense," and is further designated by the same statute as the principal assistant to the President in all matters relating to the Department of Defense. Ensuring civilian control of the military, an individual may not be appointed as Secretary of Defense within seven years after relief from active duty as a commissioned officer of a regular e., component of an armed force. The Secretary of Defense is in the chain of command and exercises command and control, for both operational and administrative purposes, subject only to the orders of the President, over all Department of Defense forces, the Army, Marine Corps, Navy, and Air Force. This is also extended to the United States Coast Guard during any period of time in which its command and control is transferred to the Department of Defense. Only the Secretary of Defense or the President or Congress can authorize the transfer of operational control of forces between the three military departments the Departments of the Army, Navy, and Air Force and the ten combatant commands Africa Command, Central Command, European Command, Indo-Pacific Command, Northern Command, Southern Command, Cyber Command, Special Operations Command, Strategic Command, Transportation Command. Because the office of Secretary of Defense is vested with legal powers which exceed those of any commissioned officer, and is second only to the President in the military hierarchy, it has sometimes unofficially been referred to as a de facto deputy commander-in-chief. The Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff is the principal military advisor to the Secretary of Defense and the President, and while the Chairman may assist the Secretary and President in their command functions, the Chairman is not in the chain of command. The Secretary of Defense, Secretary of State, the Attorney General, and the Secretary of the Treasury are generally regarded as the four most important cabinet officials because of the importance of their departments. The current Secretary of Defense is retired United States Marine Corps General Jim Mattis, who was confirmed and sworn born in on the 20th of January 2017 topic history the army navy and marine corps were established in 1775 in concurrence with the american revolution the war department headed by the secretary of war was created by act of congress in 1789 and was responsible for both the army and navy until the founding of a separate department of the navy in 1798 Based on the experiences of World War II, proposals were soon made on how to more effectively manage the large combined military establishment. The Army generally favored centralization while the Navy had institutional preferences for decentralization and the status quo. The resulting National Security Act of 1947 was largely a compromise between these divergent viewpoints. The Act split the Department of War into the Department of the Army and Department of the Air Force and established the National Military Establishment NME, presided over by the Secretary of Defense. The Act also separated the Army Air Forces from the Army to become its own branch of service, the United States Air Force. At first, each of the service secretaries maintained cabinet status. The first Secretary of Defense, James Forrestal, who in his previous capacity as Secretary of the Navy had opposed creation of the new position, found it difficult to exercise authority over the other branches with the limited powers his office had at the time. To address this and other problems, the National Security Act was amended in 1949 to further consolidate the national defense structure in order to reduce inter-service rivalry, directly subordinate the secretaries of the Army, the Navy and the Air Force to the Secretary of Defense in the chain of command, and rename the national military establishment as the Department of Defense, making it one executive department. The position of the Deputy Secretary of Defense, the number two position in the department, was also created at this time. 
The general trend since 1949 has been to further centralize management in the Department of Defense, elevating the status and authorities of civilian OSD appointees and defense-wide organizations at the expense of the military departments and the services within them. The last major revision of the statutory framework concerning the position was done in the Goldwater Nichols Department of Defense Reorganization Act of 1986. In particular, it elevated the status of joint service for commissioned officers, making it in practice a requirement before appointments to general officer and flag officer grades could be made. Topic: <laughs> Powers and functions. The Secretary of Defense, appointed by the President with the advice and consent of the Senate, is by federal law 10 U.S.C. § 113 the head of the Department of Defense, "...the principal assistant to the President in all matters relating to Department of Defense," and has "...authority, direction and control over the Department of Defense." Because the Constitution vests all military authority in Congress and the President, the statutory authority of the Secretary of Defense is derived from their constitutional authorities. Since it is impractical for either Congress or the President to participate in every piece of Department of Defense affairs, the Secretary of Defense, and the Secretary's subordinate officials generally exercise military authority. As the head of DOD, all officials, employees and service members are under the Secretary of Defense. Some of those high-ranking officials, civil and military outside of OSD and the Joint Staff are, the Secretary of the Army, Secretary of the Navy, and Secretary of the Air Force, Army Chief of Staff, Commandant of the Marine Corps, Chief of Naval Operations, and Air Force Chief of Staff, Chief of the National Guard Bureau and the Combatant Commanders of the Combatant Commands. All of these high-ranking positions, civil and military, require Senate confirmation. The Department of Defense is composed of the Office of the Secretary of Defense OSD, the Joint Chiefs of Staff JCS, and the Joint Staff JS, Office of the Inspector General DODIG, the Combatant Commands, the Military Departments Department of the Army DA, Department of the Navy DON, and Department of the Air Force DOF, the Defense Agencies and DOD Field Activities, the National Guard Bureau NGB, and such other offices, agencies, activities, organizations, and commands established or designated by law, or by the President or by the Secretary of Defense. Department of Defense Directive 5100.01 describes the organizational relationships within the department, and is the foundational issuance for delineating the major functions of the department. The latest version, signed by former Secretary of Defense Robert Gates in December 2010, is the first major rewrite since 1987. Topic Office of the Secretary of Defense The Secretary's principally civilian staff element is called the Office of the Secretary of Defense OSD and is composed of the Deputy Secretary of Defense -E 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 and five Under Secretaries of Defense in the fields of Acquisition, Technology and Logistics, Controller, Chief Financial Officer, Intelligence, Personnel and Readiness, and Policy, several Assistant Secretaries of Defense, other Directors and the staffs under them. The name of the principally military staff organization, organized under the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, is the Joint Staff JS. Topic Awards and decorations The Defense Distinguished Service Medal DDSM, the Defense Superior Service Medal DSSM, the Defense Meritorious Service Medal DMSM, the Joint Service Commendation Medal JSCM, and the Joint Service Achievement Medal JSAM, are awarded, to military personnel for service in joint duty assignments, in the name of the Secretary of Defense. In addition, there is the Joint Meritorious Unit Award JMUA, which is the only ribbon as in non and unit award issued to joint DOD activities, also issued in the name of the Secretary of Defense. The DDSM is analogous to the Distinguished Services Medals issued by the Military Departments i.e. Army Distinguished Service Medal, Navy Distinguished Service Medal and Air Force Distinguished Service Medal. The DSSM corresponds to the Legion of Merit, the DMSM to the Meritorious Service Medal, the JSCM to the Service Commendation Medals, and the JSAM to the Achievement Medals issued by the services. While the approval authority for DSSM, DMSM, JSCM, JSAM and JMUA is delegated to inferior DOD officials, the DDSM can only be awarded by the Secretary of Defense. 
Recommendations for the Medal of Honor Mo, formally endorsed in writing by the Secretary of the Military Department concerned and the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, are processed through the Under Secretary of Defense for Personnel and Readiness, and such recommendations be must approved by the Secretary of Defense before it can be handed over to the President, who is the final approval authority for the MO, although it is awarded in the name of Congress. The Secretary of Defense, with the concurrence of the Secretary of State, is the approval authority for the acceptance and wear of NATO medals issued by the Secretary General of NATO and offered to the U.S. Permanent Representative to NATO in recognition of U.S. service members who meet the eligibility criteria specified by NATO. Topic congressional committees As the head of the department, the Secretary of Defense is the chief witness for the congressional committees with oversight responsibilities over the Department of Defense. The most important committees, with respect to the entire department, are the two authorizing committees, the Senate Armed Services Committee and the House Armed Services Committee and the two Appropriations Committees, the Senate Appropriations Committee and the House Appropriations Committee. For the DoD Intelligence Programs the Senate Select Committee on Intelligence and the House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence have the principal oversight role. National Security Council The Secretary of Defense is a statutory member of the National Security Council. As one of the principals, the Secretary along with the Vice President, Secretary of State and the Assistant to the President for National Security Affairs participates in bi-weekly Principals Committee meetings, preparing and coordinating issues before they are brought before full NSC sessions chaired by the President. Topic. Role in the military justice system The secretary is one of only five or six civilians—the others being the president, the three service secretaries, the secretary of the Army, secretary of the Navy, and secretary of the Air Force, and the secretary of Homeland Security when the United States Coast Guard is under the United States Department of Homeland Security and has not been transferred to the Department of the Navy under the Department of Defense. Authorized to act as convening authority in the military justice system for general courts martial 10 U.S.C. section 822, Article 22, UCMJ, special courts martial 10 U.S.C. section 823, Article 23, UCMJ, and summary courts martial 10 U.S.C. section 824, Article 24, UCMJ. Topic: Amenities. Topic. Salary Secretary of Defense is a level 1 position of the executive schedule, and thus earns a salary of $203,700 per year as of January 2015. Topic. List of Secretaries of Defense The longest-serving Secretary of Defense is Robert McNamara, who served for a total of 2,595 days. Combining his two non-sequential services as Secretary of Defense, the second-longest-serving is Donald Rumsfeld, who served just 10 days fewer than McNamara. The shortest-serving Secretary of Defense is Elliot Richardson, who was quickly moved to U.S. Attorney General after 114 days due to resignations during the Watergate scandal not counting Deputy Secretary of Defense William P. Clements and William Howard Taft IV, who each served a few weeks as temporary, acting Secretary of Defense. Parties Democratic Republican Political Independent, Unknown Status Topic. Succession Topic. Presidential succession The Secretary of Defense is sixth in the presidential line of succession, following the Secretary of the Treasury and preceding the Attorney General. Topic. Secretary of Defense succession In Executive Order 13533 of 1 March 2010, President Barack Obama modified the line of succession regarding who would act as Secretary of Defense in the event of a vacancy or incapacitation, thus reversing the changes made by President George W. Bush in Executive Order 13394 as to the relative positions of the Secretaries of the Military Departments. 
All of the officials in the line of succession are civilians appointed by the President with the advice and consent of the Senate. <laughs> Living former Secretaries of Defense As of November 2018, there are nine living former Secretaries of Defense, the oldest being Harold Brown 1977 born 1927. The most recent Secretary of Defense to die was Frank Carlucci 1987 on 3 June 2018. See also References Topic Footnotes Topic Sources Topic Federal Law Title Ten of the United States Code Title Fifty of the United States Code Topic Directives, Regulations and Manuals Department of Defense Directive 5100.1, Functions of the Department of Defense and its Major Components PDF. Department of Defense Directive. Washington, D.C., U.S. Department of Defense, 21 December 2010. Department of Defense Manual 1348.33, Volume 1, Manual of Military Decorations and Awards, General Information, Medal of Honor, and Defense, Joint Decorations and Awards PDF. Department of Defense Manual. Washington, D.C., U.S. Department of Defense, 7 March 2013. Department of Defense Manual 1348.33, Volume 2, Manual of Military Decorations and Awards, General Information, Medal of Honor, and Defense, Joint Decorations and Awards PDF. Department of Defense Manual. Washington, D.C., U.S. Department of Defense, 31 May 2013. Department of Defense Manual 1348.33, Volume 3, Manual of Military Decorations and Awards, General Information, Medal of Honor, and Defense, Joint Decorations and Awards PDF. Department of Defense Manual. Washington, D.C., U.S. Department of Defense, 23 November 2010. Joint Publication 1 Doctrine for the Armed Forces of the United States PDF. Joint Publications. Washington, D.C., U.S. Department of Defense. The 25th of March 2013. Archived from the original PDF on the 27th of October 2011. Joint Publication 104 Legal Support to Military Operations PDF. Joint Publications. Washington, D.C., U.S. Department of Defense. The 17th of August 2011. Archived from the original PDF on the 13th of March 2013. Retrieved the 14th of June 2013. Topic. Further reading. Cohen, Elliot A. 2003. Supreme Command: Soldiers, Statesmen, and Leadership in Wartime. New York: Anchor Books. ISBN 978-1-4000-3404-8. Cole, Alice C. Goldberg, Alfred, Tucker, Samuel A. et al. eds. 1978. The Department of Defense: Documents on Establishment and Organization, 1944 to 1978. PDF. Washington, D.C.: Historical Office, Office of the Secretary of Defense, U.S. Government Printing Office. Archived from the original PDF on the 14th of July 2014. Huntington, Samuel P. 1957. The Soldier and the State. Cambridge, Massachusetts: The Belknap Press of Harvard University Press. ISBN 0-674-81736-2. King, Archibald. 1960-1949. Command of the Army PDF. Military Affairs. Charlottesville, Virginia: The Judge Advocate General School, U.S. Army. Mayen, Aaron R. and Jeffrey A. Larson, eds. 2012. Evolution of the Secretary of Defense in the Era of Massive Retaliation. Charles Wilson, Neil McElroy, and Thomas Gates, 1953 to 1961. Cold War Foreign Policy Series, Special Study 3, September 2012, v. 41. Stevenson, Charles A. 2006. 
SECDEF, the nearly impossible job of Secretary of Defense. Dulles, Virginia, Potomac Books. ISBN 1-57488-794-7. Trask, Roger R., Goldberg, Alfred The Department of Defense 1997–1947, Organization and Leaders PDF. Washington, D.C., Historical Office, Office of the Secretary of Defense, U.S. Government Printing Office. ISBN 0-16-049163-0. Archived from the original PDF on 14 July 2014. The Department of Defense Key Officials 1947-2013 PDF. Washington, D.C., Historical Office, Office of the Secretary of Defense, 2013. Archived from the original PDF on the 15th of February 2013. Topic: Primary historical sources. Cheney, Dick, Cheney, Liz. 2011. In My Time: A Personal and Political Memoir. New York: Simon and Schuster. ISBN 9781439176191. Rumsfeld, Donald. 2011. Known and Unknown: A Memoir. New York: Sentinel. ISBN 978-1-59523-067-6. Topic Online Sources Department of Defense Directive 5100.01 Functions of the Department of Defense and its Major Components. Office of the Secretary Defense, Director of Administration and Management, Directorate for Organizational and Management Planning. Archived from the original on 7 May 2013. Retrieved 13 June 2013. Topic. External links Official website